guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be teaching you all how to make polymer clay coral reefs, so let's get started. Alright, so the colors you're going to be needing for this tutorial are an assortment of rainbow colored clays, the basic tools, and to start off, what you're going to want to do is take some scrap clay and form it into kind of a mound shape, I guess, and then you're going to want to indent it with the ball tool. Now, to make the granite clay, you don't have to do this, but I thought it was a cool way to make it if you don't have it. What you're going to need is some salt, sorry, pepper, and some translucent, and then some gray clay. Now you're just going to want to mix it all together and continue to add the pepper in every so often. Now I'm going to make the red corals, so all you're going to need is some red clay, roll it out, and then take a circle cutter and cut out the red circles. Take a needle tool and scrape at it all over, and then you're going to want to just kind of push them in and stick them on. Now we're going to make a magenta and blue coral. I don't really know what to call it, but all you're going to do is take mounds of the clay and then take a needle tool or toothpick and stick a bunch of holes in it. Alright, so now to make the ball, like the purple ones, all we're going to do is take some purple clay, roll it into balls, and then take a needle tool and use it to make indents on the side and then stick a toothpick in the center of them. Alright, so now to make the yellow shells, what you're going to do is take some yellow clay, make it into kind of a lemon shape, and then stick the needle tool in horizontally and then stick it on your clay. Alright, so now we're going to make my favorite part, which is a starfish. So all you're going to need is some translucent and some blue and mix that all together. And then what you're going to want to do is roll it into a thin kind of snake. And then cut out equal length pieces. And then what you're going to want to do is kind of taper them at the ends so that they have that kind of cornery shape. Now what you're going to want to do is make the detail, so take a blade and a toothpick and then stick all the pieces together to create the starfish. Now to make the green coral, all you're going to do is take some green, roll out a snake, and then just kind of roll it up to make the little green like spaghetti shape. Alright, so for the green corals guys, I'm really sorry, but I didn't record the footage, so I'm just going to tell you how to make it. So you just need to roll up a ball of clay and then roll up some thin snakes and kind of wrap it all over the ball and then you pretty much have your brain coral. Alright, now to make the barnacles, just take some clay and then roll out balls and stick holes in them. Alright, so now to make my tubey corals, what I'm going to be doing is taking some turquoise clay and mixing it with translucent. Mm -hmm. I really like the color, it kind of reminds me of like those tropical starbursts. Now what you're going to do is roll it out really thin and then cut strips and roll those up and stick it on your coral reef. I think these are actually really fun corals to make and the colors are super fun so you can experiment with them however you want. First of all, I'm really sorry for the bad lighting, but I still hope you can enjoy this video. So anyway, now we're going to make our DIY granite clay rocks. So all you need to do is take your granite clay and roll it into little balls. This is really self-explanatory, and you can make however many you want. Also, my sister was telling me that barnacles don't live underwater, so if you wanted to be completely accurate, you didn't have to make those, but... I still think they look really cute, so I just went with it. Now what you're going to do is take your pearl and pink clay and mix it up, and you're not going to want to fully mix it, but still mix it, and then roll it really thin, and then kind of tear pieces and fold them and stick them all over your coral reef. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed how to make it, and I just wanted to tell you all, for any other empty spaces, all you have to do is fill those in with barnacles of a different color. So these are just some examples of the different variations you could make these coral reefs. So I really hope you enjoyed this video, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye!